Oh, we're back. Hello uh, again. We're, we're, we're back again. Um, doesn't it feel better with button. ads? It feels oh, better good. with ads. I yeah. much prefer it mm. with ads. I much prefer it with ads. Mm. I thought that was missing on the original show, mm. actually. Yeah. yeah. It was, Is there a red button episode on the ad? Do you get to see the people that made the ads talking about <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> Commentary. Uh, right? Now, this was the uh, burglary, burglary made easy, made easy yeah. stunt, mm. I believe. And this is, um, this is an interesting one because when we, uh, when we went out, we were a little bit nervous because, mm. like, the ABC, the lawyers had said, you know, these, these are actual house inspections that you are... Yeah, yeah. so there was a little legal issue with yeah. stealing things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't know what and, and if these people don't sell their house because... Yeah. You have been, you know, indulging in tomfoolery. You owe them six hundred thousand dollars. Because tomfoolery yeah. is actually a criminal offence. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's right up there with shenanigans. But yeah, but uh, as as it actually turned out, the uh, the. Uh, <laughs> as you were saying. <laughs> but as it as it actually turned out, the uh, they. You bought the, the house. Every <laughs> single person here, like the, these people, all completely knew what was going on. Yeah. Like, yeah, like just, like the, uh, <laughs> it just, there wasn't even the slightest hint of actually getting away with any of this. But we, just when you got cameras everywhere, and yeah. in this particular case, they knew. That's my case that like we we went there beforehand anyway. Yeah. Like they were totally clued in. I, really I do actually remember though. We did get a, a, a letter of complaint, yeah, no, you got a complaint from someone that I had to deal with from somebody who was claiming that her property hadn't sold because mm. you were doing this. And it was pretty clearly a try on. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I <laughs> but mean, yeah, they, they obviously actually had to buy her yeah, house as yeah. compensation, but <laughs> um, uh, it's oh, a nice well, office and mm. you know. It's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's fair to say they knew what was going on when yeah. we lifted the couch. Yes, exactly. Yeah, by that point, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not. been a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. so if for would-be burglars at home, I probably wouldn't try unless really? you come with a camera crew. Yes. In which case, you get away with it easily. So the, the cameras and were like this, of course. The cameras. My are... problem with this is that that's not what burglars wear, isn't it? Don't they wear white shirts with black stripes? Yeah. Oh. Not black shirts with white stripes. Oh, no, sometimes it's oh, a sort of off-white yeah. shirt with yeah. kind of black three-pronged patches yeah, all over yeah, it yeah. as well. But think... um... mind you, the. Uh, the balaclavas and, and kind of robin masks <laughs> were uh, mm. pretty convincing. Uh, yeah, mm. no, they're good. <laughs> but they it, do the job. <laughs> what we actually found with a lot of these places we went to is that after we'd film all this and we'd film us stealing stuff, they go, so are you interested in buying a house? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's all they care about. Yeah. Real estate agents are always on the main. Yeah. <laughs> well, they know people in crime have a lot more money. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. They pay cash. <laughs> That's true. I mean, if this was shot in Melbourne, it'd be perfectly normal, wouldn't it? <laughs> Criminals wandering around buying. <laughs> oh, so, whereabouts were you shooting this? Was this this was in this Sydney? was this yeah. is all around, this is all in Sydney. This is all yeah. in the inner city. Uh, it, was, it was all in in one day, actually. We were just basically just went from inspection to inspection. I can't believe they let you do that. Well, in this particular case here, they completely were from the from the. This was totally. Totally permission. They, they, like yeah. these guys had no problems at all. So. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stealing the open. Uh, looks some good yeah. acting there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a great bit of camera work too, cap capturing all the. Uh, yeah. Who would have been on camera there? Craig Melville, maybe. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Possibly. Well, filming. Could have been Nathan Earl. In his neighbourhood, isn't it? Yeah. Could have been Al Mora. Yeah. Could have been anybody. <laughs> <laughs> So this is, um, you were concerned about Ritalin, that's because you've been taking it for quite a while. Yeah, and it hasn't worked. Yeah, it's, it's clearly it's done quite, nothing. Quite personal, yeah. <laughs> this particular yeah. topic for me, you're giving kids lots of drugs. Um, is it, I, actually, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a story. Tell this us a story. This yeah. is a, a story. This is yeah. like a good a story. commentary. Yeah, why not? This is a bit of a first. I'll actually tell a story from when I was a little kid, because, because we were joking about it, but yeah, I am a bit weird. Mm. And my parents actually took me to a child psychologist when I was about seven. Really? Oh, they donated your body to once? science. <laughs> the, the science wouldn't take me. Science yeah, wouldn't right. take me. Anyway, they, and they, they took it to a child psychologist to try and get me diagnosed what was wrong with me, right? And they, uh, they, unfortunately, they, they never cured me. But what the, <clears throat> um, the child psychologist actually told my mum, oh, no, no, he's, he's a bit weird, but he's actually a really, he's a pretty, pretty good kid. And he said that in front of me. And so for the next three years, whenever my mum ever went off of me, he said, wow, the child psychologist said. I actually wrote down word for word yeah, what he said. Yeah. I used to read it back to him. I remember when you, yeah, when you got arrested for APEC, you said, hey, the child psychologist is <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. And to be fair, he did say that because you were holding a knife at his back. <laughs> <laughs> so who's this kid? 
This kid is the son of one of our makeup artists. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, Gary. That's right. Gary's. Yeah. Gary. That's Gary's right, yeah. Son. And he was a good performer. That was a great performer. Yeah. 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 He was very resilient. He was. Yeah. <laughs> And this kid was so into the idea, wasn't we it? Actually, we yeah. actually ended up letting that kid take home some comatin. Yeah. <laughs> he was oh. so into it. And it was just Panadol, so yeah, yeah OK. It was just Panadol. <laughs> it was just Panadol. You actually gave him the drugs. Oh, great. So he, he oh. probably only swallowed a whole packet. Yeah. <laughs> That's OK. We, we, we always love these kinds of people. Like they, they, that, that's what you fish for in these kinds yeah, of shows. Yeah. The one person who takes you seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Because so often people yeah. play along and yeah. you know, but, the, but the one person who actually gets outraged at just how at just how ridiculous you are is just that's but then the goal. She also yeah. she objects, but then says you should have it before school. Like they object <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They think with a qualification. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we speak ah, again. This is Spruker. the surprise warehouse guy. Yeah, the surprise warehouse um, commuter. <laughs> <laughs> and where, so where was this done? So this is shot in Melbourne on a tram. Why were you in Melbourne? Yeah, well, we shot a couple of them in Melbourne. It, it was on. I think it was part of the same shoot as the world famous St Kilda Boulevard, which never went to never air. Did, yeah, that's right. And I think on that same day, we we, we knocked off a few of these warehouse guy things as well. I'm so glad that I don't do this anymore. It really was an <laughs> awful job. <laughs> I, I so how many times would you go through that script? Yeah. yeah. I, I'd stand there and, and loop that, you know, I, I suppose six times or something. And, <laughs> you know, you do the whole script six times over to get the And so of... these guys are getting off the tram because they're just bored of you, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah boy, yeah. No, I've heard this routine five times. Funny the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so who have we got on the dartboard there? We've got Brad Pitt. Uh, the t some Ooh. Taliban guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know who the other guy is. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> no, the guy, the, guy. You're just assuming he's a Taliban guy. He is the guy. Taliban he's guy. Weird. And the guy in the, the top left is the, is the guy who confessed falsely <laughs> to the Jean Benet Ramsey murder. There you go. Wow. Oh, yeah. She wish. Right. Yeah. Oh, you do know your dartboard. I do. Yeah. CNN mug, obviously, from the earlier series there. Um, now, this was all. <laughs> <laughs> this was our finest oh, ever. Our finest ever. Yes, it's a it's a very literal pun on do, hybrids. Do, do you remember how small we felt while we we're doing that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abbott was just I looking remember, at us. Just who what is it? this? Was it Jules though? Who was dressed I as was the, 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 the Minotaur. Yeah, thank I remember, God. I, remember I was so happy to have my head concealed during this stuff. I remember laughing during it because I heard Jules kind of snuffling in his <laughs> in his Minotaur. Yeah. Hat. It's quite a trippy looking thing. It looks like you're what? watching something from the late 60s. What, one, one of <laughs> Abbott's <music> handlers, <laughs> uh, after this stunt, one of his Abbott's handlers, I remember, asked me, so what was that about? <laughs> and I couldn't explain it to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Uh, I just ran away. Uh, I said, uh, look, look, and then ran the other this direction. Was, this was starting the part where, uh, where Tony Abbott started playing along with us. Having yeah, years he used of to not be, doing he it. He used to get very angry when he, every he started, time he tried to stunt him. He started playing yeah. along a little bit more. Oh, it was so disappointing. It was, he was yeah. great when he used to get angry. I remember, though, that was in Manly, and we were standing outside this chemist trying to hide dressed as a minotaur. It's not easy to hide no, with a head like this big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nah. It was often the case shooting these things if you were in a stupid costume and having to hide. I remember being dressed as Charles Darwin with this enormous beard trying <laughs> to hide in a toilet. <laughs> and after a while, you know, everyone would just literally, they'd see you there and they'd know that it was a stunt that was about to happen and they'd tip people off and it made it, made it a lot harder to do, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> So no, that's been uh, Charles Darwin. It was Karl Marx. Karl Marx. That's right, Karl yeah. Marx, not um, Charles Darwin. So that was uh, that was your Daryl Hare impression there, Andrew, uh, doing the voice. Yeah, I the, did. I did uh, voice Daryl Hare, not knowing what Daryl Hare sounds like or even <laughs> who Daryl Hare is. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Yeah. Of, it's about time we get some business news yeah. on the show. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised yeah. the lawyers allowed that because oh. that, that falls under the category of shenanigans. Yeah, that's right. Well, that, 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 that would have required. Fullery, so, yeah. That would have required some fire expert to be on set because we yeah. need that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now, eight fire at the yeah. NBC. Like this a team actually, of fire experts yeah. would have been required. This was an idea of Andrews, which then yeah, later led right. to the other idea yeah. of um, this. Kind of open led mic. to the open mic, which I did the next season. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it was well, Coles was being sold at the time, but why didn't you do this? Because you didn't, you just didn't, you just don't like doing stunts, do you? Yeah, it might have been that I don't like doing stunts, or maybe yeah. I was too busy um, practicing my Daryl Hare impression. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> and Craig, you did quite a few. I did uh, quite Coles a lot of stores. Yeah. It was funny because this guy here, 
tells me how to do it. Like I asked the guy, <laughs> just, just, and he tells me the code to type into the phone to do it. What was that code, Craig? What was the code? Yeah, do you want to share with the viewers? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, tell us the code. <laughs> what the code? 6531. <laughs> there we See? go. It's try that, too. try that at home. Uh, look, we're going to have a commercial break, I believe. We'll see you shortly.